I worked uh, on BS 8887 10 years ago when we were defining what is a remanufactured product, which I think now has been quite widely accepted globally as, as a, a definition of a remanufactured product. In terms of other British standards, particularly with um, the autonomous vehicles that are coming and starting to come onto the market in the next few years, working to uh, standards like ISO 26262 uh, are critical to us. At the very highest level, We've got the BSI standard for the circular economy, the framework, which is 8001. We're very keen to promote that because that allows particularly larger organisations like OEMs to show that they're taking the circular economy seriously. Our quality standards help us maintain that reputation with our customers and with our end users, actually, the people driving the vehicles. And the environmental side of it helps reassure people that what we're doing isn't just about uh, turning a profit or expanding our business, it's about giving something back to, to the, the wider community. The connected services and uh, autonomous vehicles are, are the two main areas that we need to, to sort of start to standardise. Customers are willing to try these things, they want to embrace them, you know, more and more connected vehicles are out on the roads. They need that reassurance that whatever the OEM, whatever the suppliers and manufacturers like Bosch are, are doing to advance that technology is almost protected or has an underlying set of rules that they can trust. The hybrid and electric vehicle markets are going to be uh, increasingly important for us. The actual European standards or British standards that are applied to vehicle homologation, without them our manufacturing processes uh, potentially will break down, uh, the quality of the product will be not uh, guaranteed if everyone's working to a different standard but furthermore imagine the chaos on the roads if everyone's working to different standards for autonomous vehicles. By operating on a standards basis and, uh, and utilising those as our benchmark it means we can operate in a, in a responsible way. If Robert Bosch didn't use uh, standards it makes it difficult to, to see if you're doing things the right way or maybe even the best way. So standards are are essential for us to make sure that we maintain a good level of performance. Internally, if we didn't operate work standards or standard operating procedures, our business would be fairly chaotic. Externally, to try and win new business would be extremely difficult because there's a certain level of expectation amongst your customers that you operate quality systems or you operate working to certain standards. The more that we see standards in place and the expectation that standards are used for any transactions, the perception of remanufacturing will improve. To stay up to date with the full collection of standards, which is 97,000 standards in total, you can use a subscription to BSOL. BSOL has all our British standards, European standards and international standards, as well as standards from other standards bodies like ASTM. You can also use it to get updates on changes to standards, you can look at draft standards that are coming through, and you even get access to withdrawn standards.